we are back to 2021 Stonewall Overdose Zookfest Tournament. And it is Team Xenophon we're looking at with Brady the Goat, Shemalkis, and Leonidas. And they are playing against Team MP, who has got with him Spy, Father Xmas, Overdose, and Ja Rawl. I like both those teams. Uh, obviously, Team MP's got the advantage there with the numbers. But, you know, who, who knows... Uh, about the skill level, right? So couldn't mean anything. We saw in the last game it was Jaro with a sneak attack that won it. Although Xenophon also kind of a sneaky player. So a lot of Rambo stuff. But that's kind of, you know, what you'd expect to be some Rambo maneuvers. These guys are uh, maybe a little rusty and they just want to sharpen up there so that, you know, if they can grab the flag on a wild rush, that certainly looks good. Uh, so I can see the cannon trade for Team Epi. He's holding the cannon himself. Opposite, it looks like Xenophon has got the cannon for his team. Spy there saying he wants to kind of float mid and Polar Smith to go with him. I, yeah, which looks like he's going to take the planes, planes. Yeah, as the swamps is happening for overdose and Leonidas is saying opposite. He's going to go swamps. So I expect they're going to run into each other. Uh, have maybe a swamp battle. Again, very rare do we see those swamp battles. Uh, yeah, not a lot. I don't think anybody's deploying on the plane. Well, I mean, there's not. I don't think there's going to be a battle on the planes. This is uh, Jarol with Spy, but there is nobody there for Team Xenophon. Just Brady coming in with two units to kind of scout that. Whereas you can see most of the force for both teams is coming down the swamps here. This is Leonidas with Schmalkus and Father Xmas leading for Team MP. And I can see that Leonidas is going for this pile. He wants to access that pile and he's going to run right into overdose there and they're going to start shooting they're going to duke it out this is um father xmas probably well, just rpg there and he's lucky he hits that pile which uh, it's good to, you know we want to clear that out as quickly as possible uh, rpg attack from leonidas he kind of doesn't connect on that one but he is able to he's, he's doing some damage there to overdose uh yet to get one of overdose's units uh, big Swamps says Overdose. It's, again, very difficult to get through there. Got one says Leonidas. Very difficult to walk through that swamp terrain, so slowing them down and giving them kind of an advantage to the shooters. Uh, they're going to break contact there. That is Father Xmas retreating. I can, not a lot of defense, these guys. Just, just Xenophon holding that. I can see slightly more on the flag for a Team MP. As the RPGs are going down here... What is this? Oh, it's Father Xmas. Uh... No, wait, he's, he's coming back, sorry. I thought he was on the attack, but uh, no, he's just, he's falling back from the swamps. Though the planes is in action, Spy is right up here. John Rawl Toad looks like he's in position against Xenophon coming right up the mid. Leonidas coming back. Oh, that was a brilliant zook from Xenophon just to take that out. And here is Brady the Goat also on the D as Leonidas helps out as well there. So they're just leaving Spy. Uh, that was kind of a, again, we said there were gonna be some Rambo maneuvers. That was a Rambo move from Jarral for sure. And he was just perfectly zooped there. So the uh, Team Xenophon is able to hold the D down and stay in this game. They are at 100% right now. They've not lost any units. Whereas Team Empy holding is down 71%, so they're down 30%. Uh, spy shooting out those RPGs, trying to just kind of, you know, see if he can get lucky there, doing a little bit of damage to some of Leonidas' units, but not much. Uh, Brady here also on point. They're just holding this line uh, to kind of make sure that nobody comes up from the planes. I can see there is another little action. Smalkus here, yes. Uh, continuing with the offense. He's got Father X mess. He's just going to riddle him, and he's going to get perfectly souped there and lose a unit, though, and take some damage on that second unit. Uh, that is good stuff for Schmalkus. This is going to build the lead. Though finally, they've taken some teams. Xenophon has taken some losses. But you can see that uh, Team MP is down quite a bit there. As Schmalkus is going to come up the backfield and uh, be in position to go on the O. Especially if Overdose uh, and Father Xmas walk off the flag here. They want all D. Overdose saying all D. Uh, probably not a bad idea, giving the percents. Father Xmas here running into Schmalkus. Oh, great Zook from Schmalkus. It is looking quite dire now at the flag. I can see Spy is coming back to hell, which is critical. Yeah, it's a good thing that he came back uh, because they need that extra defense. That is a great move from Spy, seeing what was going on there. 
Not much happening there at the uh, Team Xenophon flag. I don't think Schmox is going to take this now, though, now that uh, Spy has walked into this. MP says we should be winning this easily. Father Ice was re equipping with those RPGs. It's a risky position for Spy to be in, in that uh, standing in that pool there. Grenades being tossed down by Schmalkus. He's in trouble uh, in the backfield. He's going to lose that unit there. He's only got red left on this one, and he might get Zoop right here. They have got his number, Cannon, and everybody's just focusing on him. So I think he's going to get... Yeah, there we go. It's finally uh, RPG'd out uh, by Overdose by the looks of it. So Team uh, team MP able to hold on there. Stop Dying says, Lena, I think he's a little frustrated about uh, losing that 100% uh, lead that they had. Uh, and... Uh, Although he doesn't have much to complain about since they're still up 20% as he points out there. See, uh, Xenophon coming very forward with this cannon and uh, Brady also moving to the mid. So they are getting ready to set up another offense. Again, uh, Schmalkus was a little, he was out of position there. He was in a good position to exploit, but his attack was just uh, beaten right off by Spy who came back at a critical moment. And Spy now going on the offense. Yep, yeah, uh, and Overdose, they are coming into the mid. I think they're going to, again, try to spoil these attacks. So 14 minutes left, so there's so much time um, that it really should be just a matter of Team uh, Xenophon wearing down Team MP. Unless they can sneak somebody through into the backfield, I don't know. That is Brady coming right up the mid. Again, getting, getting a little ahead of himself, I think. He should be waiting for the rest of his team to come up to support. Taking damage there, he just wants to, he's got a kind of bloodlust here, he wants to get these kills. Um, but it is not that advised, I would say, especially when he's got Spy coming to get him. Zook does some damage, but he's not able to quite make the connect. He's going to have to go back and heal up here. Where is the rest of his team on the offense? Ah, here we go. It's Leonidas with the deep flank coming in from the plains. So he's walked all the way across and I guess picked up some RPGs or something. So he's going to come around the side here, and this could be decisive. MP. See, Brady the Goat there still duking it out with Fire Express on the front. Oh, he's going to lose the unit, though. That is not good news. It's going to get grenaded right there. Oh, he holds on. He's able to survive that. He's very low on damage. Takes out one overdose, and Spy now are putting the pressure on him. I'm just waiting to see here if Leonidas can do this. He's going to come right up onto the flag now, but he's up against Overdose, Spy, and Father Xmas. Three to, three to two here. He zooped. Oh, he doesn't have an RPG? I can't believe it. Oh, he had one. So suicides, and it is just Spy and Father Xmas still there. So it didn't work, he says. Uh, so again, the D. This is not looking so good for Team Xenophon. They've given away a huge lead. They're up 3% at one point there. And they are down now. Uh, they're only up 8%. So it is just a matter of divvying out these last few units. They're all D, says Leonidas. That is, in fact, the case. It should just be Father Xmas with a Spy there and then uh, MP with that one cannon as the rest of the team. <laughs> Xenophon, Leonidas there. Must have been got the spare. And Schmalkus getting ready. They're all going to walk off this flag and go for it. It would be, uh, I mean, the artillery is going to have to weigh in now a little bit. Uh, I can see the uh, Brave the Goat once again. So the staggered attacks here, you can see, just are slowing this down. And uh, they can't, these individual guys can't do too much. Uh, especially now that he missed with the RPG. Brady's not going to be able to take this. And he's really going to have to wait for the rest of his team to, uh, to catch up. They are coming, though. Leonidas coming up there as quickly as he can, having gotten that spare unit. That will at least make the offense even. As the cannon is in position. So you can see uh, that is Xenophon himself putting those shots down. Empty holding the cannon for his team. They are putting some heat on that cannon. Oh, what a perfect Azuk from Spy. Beautiful. Just Leonidas walking all the way back across the map. And he's not happy about that one. Taking a lot of losses there. Uh, however, it is still advantage for Team Xenophon. Where is the last of their flag? D. I thought they had one more person, but maybe got taken out. So it looks like it is just Spy holding this down with the cannon. Brady taking a lot of hits there. He can he beat Spy? It's kind of one on one. 
He is bayoneted there. Great bayonet from Spy. Still holding that. That's going to tie the game up. <laughs> so, uh, what they really need here, yeah, is a, oh, what? There you go. Just I was just thinking this. If Xenophon could just connect to that cannon, and he does, uh, that should do it. Uh, Schmalkus should be able to walk right in here with his one unit. Where is he though? I'm still standing back on the flag. So he's gonna walk, he's gonna walk forward. It might take a little while for him to get there. Unless the cannon gets a direct hit. Oh, and it does! And so brilliant cannon work there from Xenophon. That's a game winner as he wipes out the last of Team Epi. Uh, so what a bizarre game. And uh, you can see there, I think that just illustrates though the importance of organizing those offenses. You have to have all the all your units kind of attacking simultaneously to prevent that trickle attrition, you know, which just just uh, so many players. Uh, trying that for Team Xenophon. Leonidas, Brady, and Schmalkus all kind of dribbling their guys in and just getting killed uh, repeatedly. Uh, Xenophon did fantastic work with that cannon and you know, literally won the game uh, right there by taking out MP with his cannon. Uh, the you know, other person who was doing great work there was Spy. Uh, fantastic on the defense. Uh, so a bizarre game, but uh, you know that's how it is in Rust City 2021 uh, Stonewall Overdose Recon Tournament. That is World War II Tournament. Gate of Storms, people.